We have been believing for a long time that the worship in San Diego will come together as a moving tabernacle of David, and we are going to begin to see that today. multinationally coming together for an event like this. I'm excited about it. This is unprecedented in our city. I'm glad to see Baptists, Methodists, Presbyterians, Messianic Jews, and I think that's what the Messiah's heart was that he said right before he was being betrayed. He said that they might be one. He prayed the high priestly prayer in John chapter 17 that we all might be one that the world might believe. The body of believers are, are Judah in this region to arise and to uh, lead this region up this coast and back down this coast and across this nation. And I believe that's our function. Let the army of God rise up. Let the army of God rise up. And marching in formation. And marching in formation. Let the army of God rise up. Let the army of God rise up and marching in formation. Yeah. We're not after a perfect sound. We're after the sound of unity. And we are so excited for relationships that have developed over the last months here in San Diego of worship. Balboa Park was the site of the November 2013 Judah Arising venue. Guests included Chuck Pierce and others with prophetic insights. This documentary represents a portion of the hopes and expectations expressed to and through believers in San Diego, California, hosted by Limitless Realms International Ministries and the San Diego Worship Community. Last night was about us expressing to the Lord His covenant order. And so tonight, uh, this morning, what I want to do is sort of explain we actually honored the God of Israel first. We honored him. And in doing that, there's no greater protocol from your worship to honor the God of Israel. Then the first peoples express their gift in worship. See, God's order was set. It wasn't about recognition. It was about aligning with the one, uh, the Father, who is the Father of our spirit, so we could advance in God's way starting today. For nearly 2,000 years, there has been an unnecessary breach, a break, between Jew and Gentile. Neither has shown much interest in tearing down this barrier. Now I believe that modern-day Messianic Judaism has been given a mission for accomplishing what could and cannot be done by coercion. In time, both groups will appreciate what is available from the other. Then, Jew and Gentile can be truly one in the Spirit. There is no distance in the Spirit, and we're going to become one, because that was the Messiah's high priestly prayer right before he was betrayed and arrested, that what? They might be one. Why? That the world might believe. We just thank you, oh, Most High. We welcome you. As the host people of this land, we welcome you. We say open wide you doors that the King of Glory may come forth. We thank you for this night, this time of unity. One body, one blood, one people. In Yeshua's name, we thank you. We give you honor and praise. 
in our dance, in our song. We worship you, O oh, Most High. In Yeshua's name, be blessed. Shabbat Shalom.
today as we declare unto this region the open. Lord, we just come before you this morning in great joy because you've given us this day, this one moment to declare to the city of San Diego in the state of California how great your desire is over her and how wonderfully you have constructed her and that which you have planned for California. And Lord, we declare today that it is the beginning of your great plan to have your way in San Diego, to open your portal in a new dimension, to release your angelic host, to work in agreement with your plans in this state and in this people. And Lord, you are not intimidated by a few or by many because the deliverance comes out of you. And Lord, we say we've come to offer whatever we have and we say that we have nothing but you are our everything. We welcome the I am. You are more than enough to do everything that is on your heart to do. And Lord, we say, we lay it down and we say we have great excitement to come and be with you today in the name of Yeshua. And I want to encourage us today. We want to give in every way today. We want to give in our finances. We want to give our strength. We want to give everything that we have to give to the Lord today. Because it's all unto Him. So let's bless the Lord. of our God. There is a river whose streams may glide the city of our God. 
Children of the Most High God, I am all things to you. So I say this day, come and ask of me what you need. This is a moment. This is a time. Come to me and ask of me. And I will give it to you. 
that which you need. Brothers and sisters, whatever it is today that you need from the Lord, He said as we come and we gather together and worship Him, He comes into our midst. The Lord is in this place today. You can't help but feel the presence of God. It is everywhere. It's beginning to spread through the atmosphere over this region. It's tangible. Reach up and take what you need from the Lord. Don't miss your moment for that which you have cried out for. It's for such a time as this.
Like a blanket of rest that covers me When my heart is overwhelmed You're my comfort and my help You are with me Jehovah Shalom Jehovah Shalom You are my peace You are my peace And the fear of the future floods my soul. You are singing over me, deliverance and healing. You never let me go. Jehovah Shalom. Jehovah is everything that you need and when you find your identity in him when you find your dna your spiritual dna it doesn't matter who walks in or out of your life you know who you are and nobody can change that so let's sing this song to to our abba to our Father. And let's just let it resound that we know, we know who our Father is. We know who we are. Amen.
rejoice. Let the distant shores be glad. Clouds and darkness and thick surround him and righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and consumes his enemies on every side. His lightnings light up the world and the earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the presence of the Lord. And the heavens proclaim his righteousness and all the peoples will see his glory. the foundations of his throne. Fire goes before him, burns up his enemies round about him. His lightnings light the world, the earth shakes and trembles, and all the people see him. Mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord through all the earth. The Lord reigns, the Lord reigns. 
let the earth rejoice. the foundations of his throne. Fire goes before him, burns up his enemies round about him. His lightnings light the world, the earth shakes and trembles, and all the people see. The presence of the Lord the Since man. 
God rise up. Let the army of God rise up. Rise up. Let the army of God rise up. Let the army of God rise up. Let the army of God rise up. Rocking in formation. Let the army of God rise up. Let the army of God rise up. Let the army of God rise up. Rocking in formation. Let the army of God rise up. Let the army of God rise up. Let the army of God rise up. Walking in formation, see the army of God rise up. Let the army of God rise up. Let the army of God rise up. And walking in formation, let the army of God rise up. Let the army of God rise up. Let the army of God rise up. Walking in formation, let the army of God rise up. Let the army of God rise up. with the rod and every blow of the rod of punishment which the Lord will lay on him will be with the music of tambourines and lyres in battles brandishing weapons brandishing weapons worship is a weapon worship is a weapon to break through we heard Chuck Pierce talking about it we heard Billy and Daryl lead us now it is time for all of us to get mobilized so Daryl Daryl and Billy would you guys mind going around the whole all the seats with the army. Yep, let's just take some ground. So, everybody who's in the procession, you are in the army of God and you are commissioned right now. Not to sit passively anymore, but to be a part. You each carry a part of the kingdom. And it's only as we work together that can we extend the kingdom of God in our city and in our nation and in nations around the world. You are a key to the puzzle. You have a place. Rise up. 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 Rise up! Rise up! Rise up in the name of Jesus! Rise up in the name of Jesus! 
Put your hand over your heart. I'm, I'm actually really shaken about the passion of God for San Diego. I, I feel his zeal for our city. I feel his jealousy for our city. Father, I thank you that you're giving mercy to San Diego. Lord, we've been through a bunch of really hard years. It doesn't appear that way. We're such a beautiful place, America's finest city. But we've really been financially messed up. character of our leaders has been deplorable. But God, even as Chuck prophesied, government in the church is rising up with new authority. And government in our city right now we will stand as covenant people for San Diego. Lord, we, we will leave this amphitheater on a mission to intercede, to believe for revival in San Diego. And God, I'll just ask that poignant question. If not us, who? And if not now, when? Thank you for revival. Thank you for your jealous heart for our city.
Thanks for joining us on this Judah Arising documentary.